Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So it's going to be a quick one today. Just doing acrylic pour and um, I'm using three colors plus white. Very simple. I want to try to do a Dutch pour. I've never done one yet. So the colors I'm going to be using are Crimson Red by Arteza. Prussian Blue. Grumbacher. And Master's Touch, Yellow Deep. That is a Hobby Lobby brand. The white I am using is a mixture of Grumbacher Mixing White, it is called, and a little bit of, that I have left over, of the Arteza Titanium White. My paints are all mixed with Floetrol, Pouring Medium, and Water. How much of each? I will show you. So I fill the paint to here. I fill the cup up to here with Floetrol. And then probably one big squirt of pouring medium. I do not have a recipe like I just pour it in, eyeball it. So let's get started. So I have my white here. And did I mention there's water in it too? Yeah, there's water. So no silicone, just paint and the things that I mentioned. So let's put on a healthy serving of this beautiful white. I will say the Grumbacher white and the Arteza white, they're very creamy uh, in their texture. I just like how they feel. I noticed that Artist Loft White is very chalky. So I'm trying to step away from that a little bit. And I can even show you, I have a bottle here. So you have a, it's like chalky. So that's why I'm trying to switch things around a little bit. Of course, there's a piece of glitter in there already. I was looking for that actually. Look at that bugger. That's that, uh, just for you glitter. I, I've been using it so much. I have it stuck in my head and everything else. Alrighty. Just spread it out nicely. This is just a cake froster. And I do not have anything underneath my canvas. It's right on the table because I'm going to move it right after. I'm done. And now I'm not going to make the same mistake with this. I'm going to add more white because last time I didn't have enough white. I want to make sure I have plenty. This is a 14 by 14 linen canvas that I got at Hobby Lobby. Odd size. I've, I've never seen a 14 by 14, to be honest with you. Okay, and then I'm going to go around and make sure I get these sides. One of my hairs falling out more and more every day. Pretty soon I'm going to have to fashion myself a toupee. All right, so now I'm going to add a little tiny bit more. over here that should be good that should be good so I hope everybody's having an awesome Thursday night or Friday depending on where you are happy good Friday 
Happy Easter, most importantly. Working on a bunch of fun projects that I can't wait to share with you guys. I think it's time to refill my torch. Oh. And tonight, our special guest is Mr. Indiana's fur. <laughs> Every night I have a new guest star in my video. What is this? Some lump. Oh, come on. About to claim this one on my W2 also. Doesn't want to leave me. Okay. So, let's see. I've never done this before, so we shall see how it goes. I'm going to kind of do like little puddles, I guess, of the color. Maybe. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just having some fun. There's another piece of that glitter. All right, and last color. So I know what happened, why this glitter is showing up, and that is because I am secretly a rocket scientist, and I decided it was smart to use my blow dryer to clean off my table before I started this, and the paint was right on the other side. So that's, <laughs> that is why that is happening. Now I know this is probably not how a Dutch pour is set up to begin with, but... I'm trying something different here. It's all about relaxing and having fun. I'm hoping by using the yellow deep with the blue that that will create some shades of green and then the uh, red and blue together will create shades of purple. I'm just hoping that they don't muddy up because that I do not want. Right, and then I think right back here, I'm also going to do a small line just to make sure I have enough coverage. Or enough paint to cover where I want it to go. Voila. Now, from what I've been told, white around it. Okay. And I'm going to blow back this way on low speed and go forward on high. So 
black your ears. I should have went fast on that one. Hmm. Oh well. There we go. Woo! Too fast. Too fast. Too high. Too high. <laughs> it went everywhere. Pretty though. I guess my dryer is too powerful for that. <laughs> oh my God, that was hysterical. <laughs> this is beautiful though. Wow. <laughs> All right. I wish you could see where this paint went. Uh, all right. Do I bring it back a little bit or what? <laughs> Is an explosion if I've ever seen one. Holy crap! <laughs> it went everywhere. Oh my god, what a mess I have to clean. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I said, Boy, this is gonna be a nice, short, quick video. <laughs> I was actually gonna play music instead of talking, and I'm glad I did it. <laughs> explosion of color man it is such a good thing that when i came back this way the first time that i had it on low or else i would have been covered oh my god well that's one down let me uh pause you guys maybe i'll do another why not Okay, so I literally had you pause for like 15 minutes because I went into a laughing fit over what just happened. It was, I, it's something you had to be here to see. Like my wall is peppered with color. <laughs> uh, anyhow, anywho, now I have an 11 by 14 canvas and I realized that some parts look a little darker than others. It's because I used the first cup of white I ran out of and the second cup I used was a different brand white. So you can see a little tiny bit of difference in the whites, but it's not going to matter once this paint is all over it anyway. So, um, yeah, but you know what I do want to do is I want to cover my white before I turn this damn demon dryer back on because I don't want colors getting into that. We'll just take a little bit out here and I could cover it. I save all my food containers to mix my paint in. They come in handy. By the way, if you have a Moe's around you or they sell that product in your store, that is the best queso around. <laughs> Take it from a fat girl, I know. All right, so let's try this again. Hopefully it will not turn into a shit show part two.
I do like the other one, though. I'll give you a close-up. A lot of cool colors came out of those colors. So, it's not a total watch. wash. Let's try a little something different this time. <laughs> oh. Now I know that I have to use it on low. Right, and then the yellow deep. The yellow deep. Why is it not deep yellow? Yellow deep. Hmm, let's do this this time. All right. Add the white. Ready? Here we go. Hmm. It doesn't look like a flower to me. Like roadkill. Oh God. Let's see something here. <laughs> oh, this is impossible. I have to stop filming right now. I can't stop laughing. Damn it. I'm just trying to separate the two a little bit by adding a little bit of white. That's all. I think I'm going to call it quits. And... <laughs> oh, look at all the cells showing up. No silicone. Which is beautiful because... I don't want to have to clean this sucker when it's time to put resin over it. No matter what I do, it doesn't clean right.
voila. All right, let me give you guys a close up. <laughs> I gotta go contemplate my silliness here. And clean my walls <laughs> before my husband sees them. <laughs> All right, so here is, I have it upside down, I guess. <laughs> I don't know which way is which at this point, but we'll just look at the colors and not care about which way we're going. It's pretty cool. So I want to do a shout out. I found this new channel through watching uh, Rinske Dauna. I found a collab she did with this other beautiful lady. And I really, really like her personality and her channel. And uh, I figure I'd give her a shout out. She's just starting out in YouTube land. And her name is... Canella Caraco. Please forgive me if I don't say the last name right. C I R A C O. Caraco Caraco. Make sure you guys check her out because she does some awesome acrylic pours. This one came out pretty cool. You know, I don't hate it. It's going to look really pretty resined. I've missed doing acrylic pours. I think I'm going to start trying some of these other techniques that I see other artists doing. I'm still going to do the resin stuff, yes, because I have a lot of projects I'm working on, but mix it up a little bit. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for putting up with my craziness. And, uh, yeah, I have a mess to clean now. So, anyway... That was part A and B of Roadkill. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, would you please subscribe? I promise I'm not always destroying the house with paint. Uh, yeah. So have a great night, guys. Happy pouring.